of Walking on Water here in Lloydminster. I just love her store and I thought of her when I thought of doing a feature of Lloydminster businesses. And, you know, it's so important, especially in these really difficult economic times for our community to come together. And I'm so excited to have Delia here with me today. So I thought I'd take a few minutes to get a little tour of her store and get an idea of some of the toys that she can, uh, can help us to feature for the Christmas holiday season that's coming up. So welcome, Delia. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah. And so before we get into those hot topics, those hot items, um, yes. what I'd like to do is just get a little idea because Delia, I've known you for many, many years and I know that you have poured your heart and soul into this store and it really has such a personal connection for you. So I'd like to take a really uh, short opportunity to have our viewers know a little bit more about you and what your inspiration was for starting your amazing toy store. Yeah, thank you so much. I know, like I have always said that I've been always kind of that big kid. So, and I love to have fun. So like toys were just perfect for me. Like I, cause I, I feel like I'm a big kid. Every time kids walk in, it's like, I can, I'm almost just yeah. like them. So I've always loved that part. I grew up in retail. So I grew up knowing mm -hmm. about retail my whole life. I love the connection with the customers. So for me, it, it actually, well, I'm in my forties and it took me this long to figure out what my love was, not going to lie. Yeah. So for me, it's, it's a passion. It doesn't feel like a job. It feels like this is where God meant me to be right here, yeah. right now. So yeah. I hope people feel that when they come in, that they know this is, this is what I love. Mm -hmm. Well, and, and I know from having come in the store many, many times uh, by myself or with my kids that you can tell with all of the choices that you've made for all those toys. Um, you really have put your heart and soul into choosing yeah. every single toy that's in there. I mean, they're so unique. Uh, and my goodness, your shopping is just amazing. Your inventory. Uh, thank you. Yeah. And you know what? That's the fun part. You almost need to think like kids think, right? Uh, what are they going to love? It's that quirky stuff. It's the unique stuff. It's the things yeah. that, well, you know, we have a different audience too, because we have like, you're in my age buying like Care Bears and, you know, the yeah. strawberry short because we remember that we don't even care if our kids like them or not. It's just like, you're getting this because I loved it as a kid. <laughs> yeah, so and it's they fun. do, right? They do love it. Some of those gifts are so timeless, right? Yes, exactly. Oh, okay, so let's hear it. So what are some of the uh, top toys? So, you know, you're, I, I asked you ahead to kind of prepare a couple things of, you know, the, the top toys for boys and for girls. So yeah. give us some okay. give our parents some some ideas for buying this uh, this holiday season. Totally. Okay. Well, I'll start with like what I was just saying. So this is I know you had said what's a oh, child strawberry pick? shortcake. I know strawberry shortcake, and she even smells. She smells so good. Oh she God. smells great. So and it's the fortieth anniversary. That might age me right there, but fortieth wow. anniversary. I probably <laughs> still have mine from when I was a kid. <laughs> oh, probably. And this is the original. Like, she even has the cute little shoes. So, this is all. Oh yeah, I love it. Okay, so that's. That's the girl. Okay, for the boys. Oh, this is another girl. Oh, my goodness. I right? used to the stable and everything. I remember. Oh, my God. Did you? Oh, I love it. Yeah, so this is the original as well. So, oh my yeah, take the unicorn so that's so another good a variety of them or is there sort of just some featured ones yeah so i have a like a wide variety of them probably like wow. 13 14 different ones so yeah classics right here okay you asked me a favorite for boys yeah. so this is my pick um you also mentioned educational but i love this toy it's hard to tell what it is but it's a magnet they're all yeah. tiny little magnets and you make them into all different types of designs. It's hard to tell without a video, yeah. but anything magnets, you pull all, there's 512 magnets in here and you pull them apart. They're obviously not meant for young, young kids, but you design yeah. and you create things and they're so oh. strong, Stephanie, they won't come apart. So this is my top toy this year, hands oh down. Oh my gosh. And you know, the nice thing about it being magnetic, if it's that many pieces of being magnetic, it's not gonna, it, it'll all kind of stick together so it, you don't end up having it all over the floor. Those are the, yes, you know. exactly, exactly. Yeah. And fidgets are big right now too. So this would be considered like a good fidget toy. So love this for boys or girls or men's stockings or whatever. 
I love it for so many ages. So that's a top. So you said for girls, so you know girls and unicorns, and this is the slow rising squishies. So you know how though, if yeah, you probably heard all about these. See how it slow rises? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like a pillow kind of? Yeah, a like pillow a, or like a fluffy. Kind of? oh. Yes. And then the baby one, slow oh. rising girl. So they Does both they smell? smell really good. What's that? They smell. Yes. They smell? Oh. oh. You could smell it through the through the, through the iPad. <laughs> well, I remember coming into your store many moons ago, and there you had a whole bunch of stuff that was smelling. I'm trying to think of. Oh, anyways, it, I, I that's the one thing about about the products in your store is often there's those extras that go into it. It's not just a yeah. you know, kind of a cheapy toy. There's the, you know. Yes. Well, and I've tried, like I've tried to expand when I first opened, of course, like my product lines have slowly, I've increased, right? It takes time when you first start a business to grow. Mm -hmm. So I've tried so what's popular, right? And, and yes. what sells and what's oh. popular and. Yes. And actually, I'm just going to touch on that. I don't know if I've ever said that before, but what I try to do is always stay on top of the trend. So if you came here this year and you come back here next year, you're probably not going to see the exact same thing unless it was a good seller. So with a small area, I think you can flip your inventory faster and quicker. And then it also creates a demand because you're not going to see the same thing yep. next time. You come, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look but at that. I think it's so unique. You don't, you don't, I don't see your stuff in any other stores. I mean, my goodness. Uh -huh. it's, it's Plus I try. <laughs> Do you remember these the little golden books? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Pokey little puppy. So this is another classic. So these oh, sell real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I love these. Bambi. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my, my kids are really into um um right now they're sort of, you know, in as they go up in the age groups, um, you know, they're starting to read. A lot of things like the box sets and the box in the comic books, uh, box sets, that sort of thing. So that's yeah. a great present for for Christmas. It's educational, <laughs> but it's also, you know, I mean, I'm very thankful. All three of my kids absolutely love to read. So yeah, for that. So give uh, gifts of books are good for me yeah. and good for them. So exactly, yes, totally. Yeah. And parents are really looking for that, like mm -hmm. a gift that it's not like. I mean, we do have like you know, lower price point items that are fun and novelty, but there's also those ones that you want that are of quality. Mm -hmm. um, and then this one here, it's made out of Denmark. I love finding things like Lego's huge. Um, we don't carry Lego, but we carry plus plus line um, because mm -hmm. I try to find those things you can't find in the big box stores. Yeah. Yeah. So I focused in on- unique, yep. Exactly, yeah. So these are building and I, oh, another thing is when teachers love them, you know, you have a good gift, right? You got all those teachers yeah. they are smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you build and you create. And what I like about it is you really have to use your imagination. So this is suggested ages five to 12. So I love this. And with COVID, everybody's looking for things that you can easily wipe off. You can throw this in the dishwasher. You can wash them. Oh. So yeah, there's just opportunities to build or endless. So I love this for boy or girl. So this is my educational one when you ask me. I'm like, ooh, what's an educational? This is it. <laughs> well, and I challenged yeah. you and I said, what's some one that you can think of that's ecologically sustainable? Did you find one? Yeah. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> well, um, I don't know. I gotta think about that one. That was <laughs> But I, I don't know, like it could probably be this. I don't know. Um, so for our viewers, when you go into walking on water, you got to challenge Julia and make her come up. That's right. Yes. Challenge her. Yes, that's a challenge. <laughs> You're going to go find it after this, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I won't be going home until I figure that answer out. Well, yeah. well. <laughs> yes, good. Okay. Do you want to do a little tour? Do you want yes, to just walk? Please, yeah. Okay. So we're in the living room right now. And you got to excuse the stock because we have been super, super busy. So if there is empty shelves, I haven't had a chance since I closed the store. Um, if there's empty shelves, that's why. Oh, look at Rexy. He's got his lights on here. That's my dinosaur. <laughs> yes, because we're doing this interview about 15 minutes after you close the store. So I didn't even give you a chance to to restock before to we tidy up yeah <laughs> exactly oh, yeah. i love it exactly <laughs> yeah 
So we'll just walk. I like, you know what? It's so funny because things like this, I would never have thought a squid would sell, but stuff like this, honestly, kids will tell you. I, I thought that I knew what kids like, but they, they love different and unique and like space. Is that metal? What's that? That, that? that big ball there that, that looks like oh, yeah. fire. Yeah, this ball goes up. Oh, neat. You need one of these in your office, I think. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Or this gigantic lava lamp here. Oh my God, I had a lava lamp when I was a kid and the last couple of years my kids have been asking or my daughter's been asking for a lava lamp. She's got one for Christmas, I think last year or something. I couldn't believe it. It was just, they're so popular. I know, they so oh, are popular. I, a Care Bears. I'm so overpicked with my lava lamps, but we have stock coming. Um, we're just patiently waiting. Everything with COVID slows stock down right now, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, I don't know. Do you want me to take you into all the rooms or just kind yeah, of sure this one? A quick tour. Yep. Quick tour, uh, okay. So this, was an old, yeah, this, is, this was an old house. So when you say the living room, yeah, is, yeah you've converted this from a house. It's awesome. Yes. That's what makes it so unique. And you can it's see it in the next room while you're picking something for them in the other room. Yeah, good point. I've good done it a couple point. times. Exactly. Get over there. That's Don't right. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. Exactly. I'm going to shop. I know. And that's what's really nice, too, actually, with COVID and separating and being in your own yeah. like areas, right? People can feel mm -hmm. comfortable shopping and uh, yep. in their own space, right? So now we're going down the hallway. They call this the boy room because there's lots of. Uh, dinosaurs and uh -huh, yes dinosaurs. yes and we're super overpicked look at all the cars <laughs> yeah. yeah it's fun and then, then we go back into the kitchen and it's so funny because the checkout is in the kitchen <laughs> oh i gotta show you this betty boop got betty boop in oh, whoops yeah yeah i, I like you so yeah Checkouts yeah. in the kitchen. So and we try to keep it up. No, you always wrap things so nice when you're whenever I come. I usually buy gifts for birthday parties and Christmases and whatever. And yeah, I love it. Good. Well, I try. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. And we're back awesome. into the room. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then we're back to square one. I love it. Well, thank you yeah. so much, Delia, for giving us a tour and some of the hot <laughs> comfy picks. We really appreciate it. And um you know, uh, I love your toque as well. I said that too. Oh. To me. I said, you know, you really, you really dress for the occasion as a toy store owner. Yeah. It's perfect. Uh, I can tell when my, uh, kids, when my kids see this uh, video, they're going to say they want one of those toques. I can already tell. I know, right? It's so fun. <laughs> Everyone's going to see me at night. That's for sure. <laughs> do you sell those toques in the store? Yeah, we do. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you, you, you might see me in the store in the next couple of days. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so awesome. much for joining us. Okay, you're welcome. You okay, thank bye. you, Stephanie. Bye bye. bye.